Hello everyone, thank you very much for watching my channel and if you like me, love to buy online and want to see how the stuff looks in real life and it might help you decide to buy or not an item because myself sometimes when I find a good deal on something I try to check out online reviews and see if the item is as I imagined or not because on the pictures sometimes the items can look different but this video also is going not going to be only about good deals but also about the quality of clothing and about our health maybe many of you already know about it and it's not only for girls it's a general thing it can be for kids for men women anyway the problem is that uh, these days we consume a lot of fast fashion and i will um if you are interested in staying healthy and buying healthy clothes i suggest you watching this video till the end because i'm going to tell you my sincere experience and how i found my path toward healthy clothing and stuff like that of course it is really tempting to go to the mall or anywhere fast and grab something and buy and just go but do you imagine that all the boutiques and the mall and the people working there and posting clothes and cleaning them, putting them on hangers and stuff like that, uh, they need to be paid. And the building itself, it's mega expensive and the rent and stuff like that and maintenance of the building and stuff like that and all that expenses they have to be cut somewhere, so they are cut on the actual products. Uh, I cannot say that you, sh you should definitely can't go there and buy stuff there. Yes, you can, but you need to be cautious because a lot of our clothing these days is made of acrylics, is made of unbreathable um, stuff because our skin is covered in pores and it breathes and we care about what we eat but sometimes we do not care to check out what we are wearing because even high-end brands can cut corners and use cheap fabrics and you walk into a good fashionable brand and sometimes you buy there some clothes that look nice that are trendy but are not always healthy well it's your choice to buy one thing or another you know like eating junk food or stuff like that it's always a choice but i discovered recently that beauty is not always by applying makeup but also looking healthy as a man or as a woman looking healthy and having a healthy skin it takes you 10 points up even if you cover in makeup and stuff like that okay so let's go first and foremost of this piece of clothing is a knitting i didn't iron it or stuff like that but it's completely 100 percent acrylic so it's a fast fashion item of course it is like two times cheaper than this item which is 100 percent merino wool and if you are thinking that the merino wool or the wool in itself can be just prickly or um, give you allergies and stuff like that, it's not like that. Unless you are 100% sure that you are allergic to the wool, you can buy some extra fine yarn knitting and it will serve you a long time, it will keep you warm in winter and you will feel that your skin breathes it really breathes and how do you know that your skin breathes for example in this acrylic sweater or any other polyester sweater i i'm sweating really so i feel the smell of my body on this item and i understand 
uh, using all the deodorants and stuff like that to stop yourself from sweating. Well, you can do that, but anyway, you cannot stop it 100%. And you know what I'm telling you when they get yellowish around your armpit and they just smell badly after wearing them. You have to wash them often and discard them often and they just start looking bad. Um, so I, after, after my mom uh, gifted me this sweater, I got this sweater from, it's a sweater made in Italy for, from Pullof, it's Firenze, extra fine merino. So you have to wash these items by hand with almost lukewarm water, it's almost cold. You must keep in mind that if you you shouldn't pour hot tap water and think it's okay and wash it in hot water because the real merino garments are going to shrink and are going to shrink badly even if you wash them by hand and you are going to damage your garment. First, you are not sweating in them as you are sweating in the plastic because polyester, acrylic and stuff like that are plastic. You are, it looks like clothing, but it's really plastic. So uh, this clothing, is you are not going to sweat in it as badly. It, it doesn't get dirty, really. You just have to rinse it with almost cold water and put it on a flat hanger you shouldn't hang it like upright because it's going to stretch badly um, but you can feel very warm in this thin on a sweater and they are not really expensive if you go for um, good textile items but from unknown brands like this one this item is not in China, it's made in Italy, it's 100 extra fine merino, but it's way cheaper than a high-end brand sweater that it's made from polyester or other garbage. And maybe you want something fancy, but buying basic items like like a white basic sweater that doesn't have anything on it that you can use with a jacket and buying your basics. You do not have to buy your basics from high-end brands because they are basics. It's just a sweater and this one is really soft, really nice and it keeps you warm. It will be incredibly how you can wear light clothes in winter by wearing a merino sweater under it. Of course, I'm not telling you if you are allergic to wool, that's another story, but you just, if you are an um, usual person that's not allergic to wool and stuff like that, this sweater is extra soft, it's not prickly. <sighs> Only the cheap uh, wool that is not made proper, properly, usually it's prickly. You can find yourself a really nice um, merino sweater to wear. Well, you may ask where I'm going to buy Italian sweaters from unknown brands that are not sold everywhere because you probably do not have any trip to Italy uh, program soon so I'm going to tell you so at, at least what I found because I researched where I can find some less known brands but with really great textiles and with really great prices and I'm not it's not a sponsored video, I'm just sharing with you what um, I found out. <sighs> Let me show you. So I decided I need for myself um, certain basic colors to wear at work. So 
I decided if I already have a white color, which I've been gifted, where can I find just a beige, a gray and a black sweater? So these are the basic colors we wear lately because they are really trendy and they can go with anything, especially black and gray. I don't know if you are wearing beige pretty much. And I made a research and I remembered that I used to find very good deals on Italian brands on a site, on an application called Best Secret. So I checked there and I found this brand Alpha Studio, uh, which made really nice merino sweaters and they are you wouldn't believe that the price of a garment that you can find in Zara, of course, at discounts. Because in usual price of this Alpha Studio are way higher. But I found Lawrence Gray and Alpha Studio on Best Secret on really, really good prices. So, all these sweaters are... 100% merino wool. Of course, merino wool can be, you know, different textile, you know, the texture. This one is more fluffy. Um, and this one is from Alpha Studio. And if you look, uh, this one, this beige one is also, also from Alpha Studio. Is also 100% merino but if you touch it, it really feels different. This one feels softer. This one feels, you know, a bit more dry. And the knitting is a bit different. But I feel comfortable in both of them. So I'm telling you, check out this Alpha Studio because they make 100% merino wool sweaters for really really great prices also the Lawrence gray sorry because i've been wearing these sweaters um also Lawrence gray new york but let's see where where they are making actually the item so this one is made in china so alpha studio are making them in italy Lawrence Gray is also 100% merino, but it's made in China. What I can tell you is that the Lawrence Gray one is more thin, you know. As you can see, the textile, you can see it's a bit see-through. I do really like the Alpha Studio better than the Lawrence Gray, but you know, I had to test them, all of them. This one feels thicker, fluffier, and the one made in Italy. But the Lawrence Gray one is not bad either. And they were the same price. The uh, sweater made in Italy and the sweater made in China, they are both 100% merino, so the Lawrence Gray and the Alpha Studio. Um, also, I tested them, I washed them, and I seen um, I bought one sweater, uh, size M, this one, so I would know how much they shrink, because I read about them that they do shrink, and I... I didn't wash it in the washing machine, but I uh, got from the tap hotter water, like 40 to 50 per degrees, not the um, one stated, you know, it's uh, 30 degrees stated here, not more than 30. So I went higher to see if the sweater it will shrink or not. So if I washed it by hand but in um, 40 to 50 degrees celsius water the sweater shrank to the size s it didn't deform because i hanged it uh, horizontally not vertically um 
so they do shrink so do not wash them in hot water and do not think that you have to put a lot of effort in washing them you just need um you just need practically to rinse them because you are not sweating in them almost at all. It's just hygienically to to rinse them from time to time. I think the merino wool sweaters are like jeans. Um, you do not wash them really often, but you have to rinse them with um, cold water and they smell really good and you'll feel really good in these natural textiles. So keep in mind, if you are not allergic to wool, uh, first and foremost, you must tell with one garment, test out if you are okay wearing them, if you like them. I suggest you just checking out these brands because they sell a lot of natural textile garments and they are way healthier than wearing plastic bags on yourself at least that's my opinion but you must decide for yourself so see my next video check out best secret maybe you find something good for yourself also bye bye